So a very interesting article from November 2023, right before this whole Kate Middleton missing saga begun, has been unearthed online. And I think that this is very interesting because Camilla does have her ways. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Please do follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. My reels are all there. I would appreciate it. All my videographic content is on there. Please go follow. Let's shift over there, guys, as well. And let's get into this. Queen Camilla has been accused of destroying Kate Middleton and Prince William's relationship. King Charles's wife, Camilla, was behind Kate and William's split after deeming her not worthy of royalty. Queen Camilla, who has been in the headlines for her true love to King Charles since she married him in 2005, allegedly caused tension between Prince William and Kate Middleton. William and Kate's relationship has never been ideal as they have experienced several problems throughout their romance. The couple went their separate ways after nearly six years of dating in April 2007, with a source saying that the split was amicable. However, royal expert and author of William and Kate, Christopher Anderson claims that there was something else behind the breakup. The pair who have publicly acknowledged the split put it down to trying to find their own way and getting a bit of space. The royal expert claimed that Queen Camilla was actually behind Kate and William breaking up. I was in London when the breakup occurred. I was shocked, completely stunned. Everyone thought it was only a matter of time before William was going to ask Kate to marry him. And then people started telling me that Camilla was behind it. The author went on, she did not look at Kate as someone who was worthy of joining the royal family. Kate is the first working class woman to be accepted into the royal family. Camilla never really felt that Kate as an individual and the Middleton family as a whole were going to be worthy of entering into the royal family. Explain the details about the split between Kate and William, Anderson alleged that Camilla used to whisper in Charles' ear. The commentator said, I was told at the time of the breakup and later on as well that Camilla basically whispered in Charles' ear that it was really time to make, to force William to make a decision one way or another. Christopher Anderson claimed, Charles did suggest to William that he either make a commitment to Kate or basically set her free as it were. Now his motives for doing that may have been pure, but Camilla's not so much. She was the instigator of this. Prince Harry in his book Spare, which was published earlier this year, revealed that in 2005, he and Prince William pleaded with their father not to marry Camilla. Charles, who is now king, had allegedly been engaged in a long-standing affair with Camilla. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, if Camilla was behind them breaking up earlier on, and you know, by authors and royal correspondents and experts that are claiming this from what they have heard, that is something that I will not be surprised by because she's very used to doing meddling because she's been doing that with a relationship with Charles. Now that Kate's been missing right now, and we've seen Camilla hanging and inviting and being in cahoots with Rose Hanbury, who was seen as an aristocrat and somebody who of a higher class than Kate Middleton, who's going to be more valued and important seen hanging around, it wouldn't be surprising to me, guys. Connect the dots. Camilla is always meddling in people's relationships because she wants things to be in a certain way. She's been doing it in her own relationship as an example. So her meddling in Kate and Williams, wanting Kate out because she didn't like her or had opinions of her in some kind of way, and then seeing her with Rose Hanbury many a times and inviting her and Rose's son, you know, holding the king's cape and etc. All is going according to plan to Camilla. Remember, we are always 10 steps ahead. Camilla is 20. She knows what is going on. She wants Kate out of the picture. She doesn't think Kate is worthy. She tried to whisper it through Charles's ears, get William to do so. They That's why they broke up in 2007. Then they eventually probably came back together again, which they did, of course they did. But at that time, their breakup was shocking to many a people who were close to the circle. That was because of the meddling. That was because of, you know, Camilla weaseling her way into that relationship. And it, to me, it is very intriguing because her missing now or her being in hospital now or her grieving now, when she was in hospital and William wasn't visiting, she made sure to visit Charles 24 seven and be papped everywhere left, right and center because she was bathing, basking in this whole situation because it makes her come out on top because she doesn't like Kate anyways. If she liked Kate, she would not be inviting the alleged Rose into the conversation. She knows that those affairs were blasted everywhere two months ago. She probably even advised Rose, come to the ceremony with your son and do whatever you need to do, but wear this hat that Kate also wore. She, Camilla knows how to play these games because she's won at everything that she's done, hence why she's in the position that she's in right now. So this story is very interesting that came out in November 2023 in regard to the relationship 
relationship with Kate and William when they broke up early on in 2007 because it relates to her intentions. She would only try to do that because she doesn't like Kate Middleton. She doesn't feel like she's worthy. She feels like she's inferior, a commoner, and wants to get her out of the royal family. That feeling doesn't just go away, it persists for a, for a very long time and therefore that tension between them two was definitely there and just by her actions in the last couple of months of being there for Charles 24-7, being pap left right centre, being the strong wife for his husband, inviting Rose Hanbury, barely seen around, even the poster of Get Well Kate, she was, it's not like she was really even cared the way she was holding it. So to me this is intriguing, she hasn't even put out a statement for Get Well Sue to Kate. Nothing, 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 nothing. Kate is not of her concern. Kate is not part of the royal bloodline. Kate is working class. Kate is not a commoner. Kate is a commoner, sorry. Kate's parents was a flight assistant or whatever. So that isn't obviously of a care to her. She wants somebody of aristocratic royal blood. And that is something that Rose is that Kate will never be. So that is why Kate has always been seen around. That's why Kate is always coming to the events. How is she getting the invite? How she did this? How she always one up Kate? How she went up because of if you actually look into Rose's background, she's part of this aristocratic society and therefore deemed superior and deemed worthy, deemed of high value than Kate Middleton, far more and beyond. People don't actually understand that. People look at her as the mistress and the one of the alleged affair and etc. And that can be true, but two things can be true as well. She can be that mistress, but she can also hold higher value and respect than Kate Middleton. Now, how much of that respect is granted right now? I don't know because she's been blasted as the mistress, but she's still much more high than what Kim Middleton is because she is seen as the commoner, the working class, the one that can be easily, you know, removed out if that were to be the case. So to me, all of this just, it's like this is the last piece of the missing puzzle because these authors confirm that what they've directly heard that Camilla strongly dislikes Kate Middleton for what she tried to do. She could have had a change of mind. She could have been like, well, you know, you can't stop them too. They're, being, they're getting in love. It is what it is. We'll just deal with Kate. And she probably was fine with Kate throughout, but she probably felt like if there was a way, she was going to absolutely get Kate out of the picture. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was meddling in this and meddling in the whole of Kate's disappearance, meddling in the chess moves of what she should do. It was obviously her orchestrating all of this Rose Hanbury coming into the picture and being papped. Because what better news is there for Rose to be seen everywhere whilst Kate is amiss? What better news is there for getting Beatrice and Eugenie into the fold, getting them to replace Kate Middleton, doing all of these summits and events? She's trying to help get Kate replaced 24-7. I'm not saying that she's entirely responsible, but that damn Camilla is always 20 steps ahead of everybody and trying to move things left, right and center. And because she's queen, no longer queen's consort, she is the queen, she has the power now to do so because this is what she's worked towards for a very long time. Diana dying massively helped her and she probably was, you know, gleeful. I felt, I'm, I'm, as far as I want to say, when it comes to her passing because that just gave her more leeway to do whatever she wants to do. She has power over Charles very easily. The leaked phone calls can definitely tell you that. But this to me is very intriguing. This is the last piece of the missing puzzle for me that she did not like that woman and wanted to find ways for her to be out. That's why I'm glad that Meghan Markle left on her own accord with her own protective husband because God knows what Camilla would have done to Meghan with the chess move that she was playing. Meghan said that she, you know, was suicidal but could not receive any mental help because nobody wanted to care about her mental health and for the fact that she have, was having suicide ideation. Why do you think that it, that was? Why was the palace and the establishment not having any care or precision or protection for Meghan Markle? I wouldn't be surprised if Camilla and her team or Camilla were spreading things around because when Pierce Morgan connect the dots, connect the damn dots, guys. I've just connected them again because when Pierce Morgan stormed off ITV and of course were dragging Meghan for this fake suicide stuff, the audacity for him to be saying that. What did he say with his, you know, pigeon chested, stupid looking face? What did he say? That Camilla thanked him, that the firm thanked him via Camilla. Camilla was the one that thanked him. Then, what else did Piers Morgan say? He exposed Kate Middleton for being the other individual who made those comments about, you know, Archie. Wonder where that information come from. I wonder where that was fed from. I wonder who told him that. That damn Camilla is meddling left, right and centre. Not even Game of Thrones can write that damn script. Do you understand? Not even Game of Thrones can write how this woman manoeuvres. It is genuinely insane. 
the things that she's gotten away with. And this is an absolute example. And I just think that connect the dots. She is out for everyone if she doesn't like them or does not deem them worthy. But one woman that she does deem worthy, valuable and likely, and that she wants to be friends with and wants to pull in Rose Hanbury, which is why she's making sure that Rose is invited everywhere. Rose can be invited on her own accord because of the value that she has with what she grew up around, the blood she had, et cetera, et cetera. I don't believe in any of this, you know, um, superiority, blood, um, aristocratic, commoner, first class, working class, all of it is BS that the UK culture have created by the British Empire to preserve who's superior and better and who's inferior. It's all a mirage, it's all fake, it's all BS. Please, I don't want you guys believing this stuff from what I'm discussing. These are just buzzwords that I'm using to describe how these people see everyone, but we are all equal. I feel like we already understand that, but I really want some of you guys to cement it in your brain that these people that we are discussing are not superior to us in any capacity. We are all free reign. That's just how I see it. We are all equitable. We all can be held under the chalkboard, not just uh, us and not them. But this really goes to show you how manipulative this woman Camilla is. Connect the dots, guys. connect the dots. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Please do subscribe to the channel, guys. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali for all my videographic content that you're seeing here on there. Thank you for those who have followed through. I appreciate it vastly, but we are getting into some content and video stuff over there that you guys could definitely like and appreciate and just be clued up with everything that is going on. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Please do subscribe, guys. It's 1 a.m. I am absolutely exhausted right now from swimming. I'm trying to get back into swimming, trying to do it twice a week, but damn, after like four or five lengths, I am tired and I'm like out of breath and I'm just like, am I physically unfit? But I'm not because I go gym four or five times a week. You know, I don't even drink alcohol, nothing. Like I'm genuinely healthy from what I eat. It's swimming. Like you have to, you have to get your breathing right. You have to get your, it's all about technique. And so a lot of us, we sprint in swimming and then we get tired when really and truly you should be breathing naturally per every two, three strokes, per two strokes, to be honest with you. And I obviously don't do that. So therefore I get quite tired thinking that I'm unfit, but I'm not. I'm just over exhausting myself in the first minute of swimming and breathing should be just as natural. You breathe out through your right and then you breathe out through your nose when you're in. Like, it's just crazy. I'm just reading about it right now. Sorry, I'm just really enthused about swimming because I'm trying to, I don't know, like I'm really, I'm really just on trying to do extracurricular activities like swimming, you know, um, kickboxing. I really wanted a horse ride. You know, let's try to do that. A pottery class, like just enjoy the finer things of this life because everything going on in this world is so dark and dreary and just depressing, guys. Like, let alone the weather in the UK at times, but you know, what's going on in Palestine, what's going on in Sudan, what's going on in Congo. So many genocides going on in the world. People are resisting, kids dying left, right, center, blown heads I'm seeing every day. It is just a lot, guys. A lot is happening. And I just think it's allowed me to just be extremely grateful for my life and have so much gratitude and the gratitude is a secret to life's happiness to just be appreciative for what we have and the fact that we can drink water I can, I can, if i want to yeah, i can you know connect with you guys i've got a bed to sleep on like just to, i'm i'm so grateful like i will never complain again about anything else i am absolutely grateful for what i have and i think that gratitude has also made me want to pick up extra curricular activities not just traveling, but just to pick up different stuff to try that I've always been afraid to do. Subscribe and comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I'm rambling. Um, I don't know why I do it. I just feel like I'm on FaceTime with you guys. That's really just what it is. I genuinely feel like I'm just on FaceTime. I've never scripted any of my videos. I'm not reading, you know, I only read the articles word for word. Other than that, I'm not like reading what my videos are. Like it has to just come off like me just talking to you guys. And I'm so comfortable with it now that it's just A1 because it's exactly how I am if you see or meet me in person. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.